Hello viewers, in this video I am going to give you a more tips on handling of PDFs in the Zotero. So I quickly go to the Zotero standalone version. So you can see that here the Zotero I have uh, written the two uh, database with the science direct snapshot which have and the, this is only for the that database. You information is available here. But if you have already some saved PDF in your computer or if you have downloaded the PDFs like I have uh, some sample PDFs I have downloaded with the random names which is the default names and two of name is given by me. So if you directly drag and drop this PDFs like I can just press it drop. You can see that PDF is directly been dropped and when you click on this it can be open. But my option is to retrieve their met metadata from the PDF. You have to click this. So when you click this, obviously you should have some installed plugin. So it will automatically go to uh, in the preferences. So you can see that in the tools you they have to be preferences and some preferences, general preferences they set there to install this one. So if you haven't installed this, you can click this and install and check for the updates also. So PDF to text version, you require this. So anyways, I have already this version, so I can close this. So now you can see that this database is, PDF, is above the PDF. And this is the database available with this. You can see by opening the paper, directly by clicking it. Yeah, title is okay. Now I can see the author's name, the author's name is ok, publication paper is ok. So this is how you can retrieve the uh, P, uh, database directly from the PDF. So if you drag and drop all the papers, you can do the same for all. So you can select all the papers and you can press retrieve metadata so it it will retrieve the data for all the papers and so this is the nice uh, management by the Zotero interesting thing is that when you go to here you can see that uh, there is preferences are available and I wish to uh, retrieve or wish to open this and you can use the annotation here like if I uh, wish to see the definition of uh, this nanofluid, I know that this one is uh, is written interestingly and you, I can go and with the right click so I can highlight the text. So whichever you want uh, after this I can go through this if you wish to highlight more things like some of the latest uh, the some of the conclusion you think that which this is interesting you can highlight the conclusions also and you have to save the paper so my suggestion is that when you save the paper you go for rename the file when you rename the file you can say that this file is renamed by the author's name and then the small title so this is the default data set will used by this you should have renamed this so that it's easy for you to search the paper even for your PDFs so I wish to rename this all the papers which I have used yes so I have renamed this so now there is another thing that you wish to uh, do the more management of this advanced management for the PDFs you should go to this website zotfile.com you can download this extension when you click on this the extension is downloaded I have already downloaded this small extension here so how you can install this extension you can go to uh, in the Zotero and go to the tools there is option is add-on you click on this here you can manually install the add-ons from the file when I click on this there is a desktop is default and zot file is available and press ok press install yeah now you have to restart your 
z czelu. Yes. So now this Jaro is installed. Now you can see that here the preferences is now increased. This Jaro preferences is available now. So oh, what is interesting thing here that when you go to this and uh, here in that paper when you click this so you can see that I have already highlighted some of text here just for my future references that I wish to use this in my paper or I wish to as, uh, have some idea from this highlights so you can now extract the highlights directly when you click on this this option is now been added because of that zot file and you go to manage handling there is option is extract annotations so you have to click this you can see that zot file extracting annotations so they search the entire paper and annotation will be extracted yeah you can see that extracted annotation is here you can see that whatever you have highlighted is being extracted and this is an interesting feature is that and if you go to uh, another paper here and I wish to extract something else like some definitions here also the output is has some uh, definitions are available so I wish to select these definitions also click on highlight text and save here so saving is important and you can also extract them here annotations here child option and they will give, show you that when you have extracted the annotation and this link help you that where you have you just click on this open link it will automatically tell you that where you have selected it will goes to that same page so it will helps you to write the paper because you can extract all the important definitions uh, here and uh, once you write the paper you can go through these definitions and write your own uh, conclusions after reading all this so this is the interesting features that how you can accept all the things directly from the PDFs so this is interesting features which I uh, should tell you you have to install the zot file so I'll again give you a link this is a zot file.com you have to download this and in the Zotero standalone so in the Zotero standalone you have to go to uh, this tools and add-on so I suggest you to first add this so if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel have a nice day